I can take my own blood pressure. You don't have to come and take this stuff. People don't care. I look on Facebook and I see all these fantastic trips everybody's going on. And I, I, I don't go on them. I've been always sick. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm going on a vacation. Where are you going to go? I'll, I'll go to Africa. I'll go on a lion hunt. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jack. Yeah, I'll go tomorrow. Okay, Jack. Um, for about three years straight, we, we got together um, at that same restaurant. I made sure every time I'd go and say hi to Jack, and we'd, we'd talk a little bit about life, what was going on, his, his heating and cooling, um, and he's, he's definitely someone that I'm going to miss. I remember this one winter, my, my furnace went, I was freezing, I was panicking, I didn't know what to do, and he had, he had happened to stop by bringing me some cookies he had just made. And, and found out what was happening. And he went right down into the basement and started tinkering around and he, he got it working for me with no problems whatsoever. And uh, yeah, he, yeah, I, 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 I'm hoping I had a special place in his heart. I brought some wine, it's favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna be more than uh, just a bottle. You know, Jack and I have been friends for a couple of decades now. Originally, I met him when I hired him to help me work on a project, but the guy did such a good work and he had such a big heart, we became friends. We've stayed friends for over 20 years now, and it, it, it's been great. We go to games together, we, we go out and have a drink or meal together and all that stuff. It, it just hurts so, so much when I find out on Facebook about him dying. On friggin' Facebook. Why couldn't somebody just have called me? I'm gonna miss Jack. We were married for 10 years, 10 happy years. <laughs> when we met, I was in a bad place. He took me out of it and uh, paid for my education. And that's one gift he gave to me. And um, even though we're not together anymore, I, uh, we still remain friends. I'm gonna miss him. I, I still love Jack. You never know. I could be, yeah. Yeah, I'll never forget the time that uh, Jack and I went bear hunting. Yeah, we were having some struggle with our guns. Uh, Jack had left his gun leaning up against a tree, and we got my gun all taken apart trying to fix this jam in it and all of a sudden this bear comes out of the woods and starts chasing Jack. He's off, he's running, he's screaming like a little girl. This bear is on his tail and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I can't do anything, the gun's jammed. And then Jack just turns and in one motion puts his hand up and yells, stop. And you believe it or not, that bear stopped. I never seen anything like it before. I would not believe it if I was not there to see it, but that bear just stopped and looked right at him, cocked his head to the side, and here I am standing there watching, trying to get a shell in there, trying to get it, and then just as quick as that bear stopped, it took off again, and right after Jack, I was able to get that shell in, fire went off, got that bear right in the back of the head and it fell right on top of Jack. And the laughter of that bear being on the front of him, I thought he was dying, but he was laughing his butt off. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> Good old Jack, here's one to you. He was such a great man. I just 
I'm gonna miss them. The dogs, the animals at the Humane Society, is gonna miss him. Knowing that he was coming there for like two two days a week, and out of a sudden, just to hear like this on a social media, I can't believe it. I mean, good thing the Facebook is this, and I would have never known, but he's in a better place, and I'm happy for him. I'll never forget Jack, he was my first love. I remember we went on that carousel, he sang me a song. Spare some change, please. We can go to Tasty Freeze. You'll be my main squeeze. Don't tell me that we're through. Spare some change, please. We can go to Tasty Freeze. You'll be my main squeeze. Don't tell me that we're through. I thought we'd be together forever. Just that one summer, I guess. But I'll never forget him. My first love. Yeah, Jack was, he was pretty funny. He was always smiling and uh, been a couple of years since I seen him, but I remained friends with him on Facebook. And uh, one time right out of high school, him and me decided to go head down to Kansas, chase tornadoes, because he knew I, I liked it a lot. But he was driving and a tornado uh, was heading across the field. He decided that since we had a four wheel drive that we'd go cross country and go through some uh, farmer's crop field. And uh, luckily, his tornado missed us. Yeah, we had a lot of good memories, so and I'll miss the guy. So I met Jack when uh, I sold him his first house, and we became we became instant friends. I mean, we did a lot of stuff together. We hunted, we bowled. Uh, he was just an all-around good guy. And then he got divorced, and his life seemed to kind of spiral downward. And to read about it on Facebook was probably the most horrendous thing I've ever experienced. So, no body, nothing, killed in Africa. I, I, I'm just stunned. Anybody here? Dad, you're smiling. That's great. I just had the nicest dream. That's awesome. What did you dream about? He's smiling. He's happy now. Spare some change, please. We can go to Tasty Freeze. You'll be my main squeeze. Don't tell me that we're through. Spare some change, please. We can go to Tasty Freeze. You'll be my main squeeze. Don't tell me that we're through.